Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at determining if a function is continuous at a point. So we have determine if f of x is continuous at x equals 3. And for f of x we have this piecewise defined function here. So to show that f of x is continuous at x equals 3, we're just going to use the basic definition for continuity. We want to show that the limit, the limit is equal to the function value. So basically here, instead of x approaching c, we're going to replace c with 3 for this particular problem. Okay, so the first thing we could find is the function value of 3. And that we get directly from the function itself, that when x is equal to 3, the function value is equal to 8. So then for the next portion of this problem, the most involved part, is to find the limit as x approaches 3 of our function f of x. So to do that here, as x approaches 3, that refers to when x is not equal to 3. We could approach from the left and the right side. So we're going to find the limit of this top portion here. So we have x squared plus 2x minus 15 over x minus 3. So to evaluate this limit, we're going to solve it or reduce it algebraically. So this will simplify to the limit as x approaches 3, and we factor this quadratic to x plus 5 times x minus 3, and this is all over x minus 3. So to simplify this limit now, we cancel out the common factors, and then we plug in for x. Instead of x plus 5, we have 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. So one thing we can notice right away, this shows that our function value is equal to our limit. So this is enough to conclude that f of x is continuous at x equals 3. So to conclude this with a sentence, we could say since the limit as x approaches 3 of f of x equals f of 3, f is continuous at x equals 3. Now just a little bit extra to gain some conceptual insight here as to what this problem actually means is that when we look at the first part of this function this quadratic divided by x minus 3. It simplifies to x plus 5. Which if I do a rough sketch is a linear equation, but there's a hole in the graph when x is equal to 3. So basically what we're showing here is that this point 3 comma 8 essentially fills the hole here and makes the function continuous. That's what we established algebraically here for this particular problem. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on determining if a function is continuous. Thank you all for watching and I hope that this was helpful.